Hi, I'm Vicky Ann from Creative Recruiters. As we head into the final half of this financial year, no doubt you've got your end goals very much at front of mind. Six months ago, you set your sales budget and unless you've smashed it, you might be starting to feel a little anxious, particularly for SME businesses. The first six months of the year sometimes feels impossible to get going. January can be a slow month, often with staff away on leave for the first couple of weeks. And by the time we get to the 30th of June, we will have had six public holidays. Focusing and spending time on the right things is critical throughout the year and nothing reminds us more of this when the countdown to 30th of June is only five and a half months away. When hiring for your team, it's really common to think that you're better off doing it yourself, but are you? Is this where your time is best spent with five and a bit months to go? Can your business afford to have you not focus on you and existing business? Unlikely. When your networks run dry and you need new talent for your team, turning to a trusted recruiter who is building talent pools of pre-qualified candidates all day every day is a strategic business decision that puts time back into your day. It's got nothing to do with me trying to sell you our services. Well, you know, maybe it has a little bit, but it's a well-known fact that the time you'll need to invest in order to recruit properly will cost your business so much more than a recruitment fee. Think about what you'll need to do. You have to advertise the role across multiple platforms. You need to get in touch with your networks, ask for referrals from staff and, and your friends, Re review a whole bunch of inappropriate job applications in the hope of finding, let's say, six candidates to interview, in the hope of getting you three, then you interview your top three, you market your job opportunity to them, you need to reference check the candidates, you need to do second round interviews of your top two, then third round, and then your preferred candidate interview, you need to make the offer, negotiate the offer, prepare the letter of offer, hope they sign it, hope they start, and hope they stay. Otherwise you have to start again. If you multiply the time you'll spend getting this hire done by your hourly rate and take into account the effect it has on your business, not focusing on revenue generating activities, it's a no-brainer. Outsourced to recruitment experts have candidates put in front of you and offer one of them a job. That's all you have to do. The pressure is on the recruiter to do everything else, which believe me includes so much more than what I've quickly mentioned here. Your people are your most important asset, but you're also very important to your business. Focus on the activity that will ensure you smash your 30 June target and leave administration tasks like recruitment to the experts. My details are here at the bottom of the screen. Thanks so much for listening and have a great day.